Hello kids. Did you know that metric measurement system is used all over the world for measuring quantities like weight, length, capacity and many more. Let's learn about some of the units and their place values that are used in the metric measurement system today. Three basic units of the metric system are gram for measuring weight, meter for measuring length and liter for measuring capacity. In our daily life, we often need to use many other units bigger or smaller than these standard units. Let's get to know them through this table. It shows the place values of each unit and hence helps in determining the relation between the units. The standard units of measurement meter, gram and liter are placed in the ones column. As we move to the left, the units in the tens column are ten times bigger than the standard units. We name these as decameter, decagram and decaliter as the prefix deca means ten times. And the units in the hundreds column are hundred times bigger than the standard units. We name these as hectometer, hectogram and hectoliter as the prefix hecto means 100 times. Similarly, the units in the thousands column are thousand times bigger than the standard units. We name these as kilometer, kilogram and kiloliter as the prefix kilo means 1000 times. Now, let's move to the right of the ones column. The units in the tenths column are ten times smaller than or one tenth of the standard units. We name these as decimeter, decigram and deciliter as the prefix deci means one tenth. And the units in the hundredths column are hundred times smaller than or one hundredth of the standard units. We name these as centimeter, centigram and centiliter as the prefix centi means one hundredth. Similarly, the units in the thousandths column are thousand times smaller than or one thousandth of the standard units. We name these as millimeter, milligram and milliliter as the prefix milli means one thousand. Students, remember, we attach certain prefixes to standard units to obtain bigger or smaller units. The units appearing to the left of the standard units are bigger. The units appearing to the right of the standard units are smaller. The value of a unit is 10 times the value of the unit to its right and one tenth times the value of the unit to its left. For example, one gram is equal to 10 decigram. One gram is equal to one tenth decagram. Now, based on the table, let us solve some examples and find the relation between a few units. Let's find the relation between kilometer, hectometer, decameter and meter. We know that 
the value of a unit is 10 times the value of the unit to its right. Therefore, 1 decameter is equal to 10 meters. 1 hectometer is equal to 10 decameters. And 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers. So we get 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers is equal to 10 into 10 decameters is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 meters. Thus, we get the relation as 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers is equal to 100 decameters is equal to 1000 meters. Next, let's find the relation between litter, deciliter, centiliter and milliliter. We also know that the value of a unit is tenth times the value of the unit to its left. Therefore, one milliliter is equal to one tenth centiliter or we can say 1 centiliter is equal to 10 milliliters. Similarly, 1 centiliter is equal to 1 tenth deciliter or we can say 1 deciliter is equal to 10 centiliters and 1 deciliter is equal to 1 tenth liter or we can say 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters. So, 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters is equal to 10 into 10 centiliters is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 milliliters. Thus, we get the relation as 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters is equal to 100 centiliters is equal to 1000 milliliters. Kids, now try finding relation between other units of measurements on your own. Large numbers in practice. Let us solve a few word problems. A truck contains 180 bags of wheat. The total weight of all 180 bags is 7,200 kilograms. What is the weight of each bag in grams? From the given information, we know that the total weight of 180 bags is 7,200 kilograms. To find out the weight of each bag in grams, let us first convert the total weight from kilograms to grams. We know that 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Therefore, the weight of 180 bags in grams is equal to 7200 into 1000, which is equal to 72 lakh grams. Therefore, the weight of each bag in grams is equal to 72 lakh divided by 180, which is equal to 40,000. Thus, the weight of each bag is 40,000 grams. Let us look at another word problem. The length of a cloth is 66,000 centimeters. Each dress material needs 600 centimeters of cloth. Find the total number of dress materials that can be prepared. If each dress material costs rupees 1550, what will be the cost of all the dress materials together? In order to find out the cost of the dress materials, we first need to find out the number of dress materials. The total length of the cloth is 66,000 centimeters. 
the length of the cloth required for each dress material is 600 centimeters. Therefore, the number of dress materials that can be prepared from the given piece of cloth is equal to 66,000 divided by 600, which is equal to 110. Thus, 110 dress materials can be prepared from the given piece of cloth. Each dress material costs rupees 1550. Therefore, the cost of 110 dress materials is equal to rupees 1550 into 110, which is equal to rupees 170,500. Thus, the cost of 110 dress materials would be rupees 170,500. Shirley had 7,450 rupees in her bank account. She deposited 50,340 rupees. Thereafter, she withdrew 75,980 rupees. What is the amount left in her bank account? Now, to understand the problem well and to know what to write as statements, ask these questions. What is 7,450 rupees? What is 50,340 rupees. And what is 75,980 rupees? The answers to these questions will help us form the statements for the solution. 2,7450 rupees is the amount Shirley had in her bank. So, we can write this in a statement as Amount Shirley had in the bank Rupees 2,7450 Rupees 50,340 is the amount she deposited in her bank. So, we can write this in a statement as Amount she deposited in the bank Rupees 50,340 Now, let us add these numbers to get the answer. Thus, the total amount Shirley has in the bank, rupees 2,57,790. We know that 75,980 rupees is the amount she withdrew from the bank. Hence, we write the statement as amount she withdrew from the bank, rupees 75,980. Now, to find out the amount left with her, we need to subtract 75,980 from 257,790. Thus, the amount left with Shirley is 1,81,810 rupees.